Hi everyone, I'm Yushi Zhen from the University of Sydney. I'm glad to share my recent work with you. The topic of this work is to integrate remote sensing observations of wind and soil states with a fit model through an approach known as data assimilation. The motivation of this project was initiated by the growing demand for world food productivity. Wheat is such an important crop, accounting for the largest harvesting area in the world. According to a project of the World Food and Agriculture Organization, wheat consumption and price is expecting a persistent growth in the upcoming decade. Therefore, it is of significance to increase the productivity in existing farmlands by correctly understand and predict the yield before and during the growing season to help farmers to make wiser decisions on field management. Wheat yield is different from field to field, season to season. The spatial and temporal variability in wheat yield is attributed to weather, soil, biotic factors, and field management. From the perspective of precision agriculture, this variability exists at scales even smaller than a field. The purpose of precision agriculture is thus to provide yield-related information specific to sites to help farmers make wiser decisions to maximize the profit from their farm. Existing mainstreaming techniques in predicting crop yield uses remote sensing data or modeling. Remote sensing techniques use the statistical relationship between yield and the vegetation indices from remote sensing to predict yield. This technique provides an understanding of spatial variability. Modeling is another traditional way for crop monitoring. They simulate the growth of plants from sowing to maturity. Because those models are usually physically based, accounting for the energy and substance exchange between the plant with the external weather, soil, and field management systems. This technique gives an understanding of the temporal variability and the causes of it. So there comes an idea. What if I would like to take the advantage of both techniques? Can we fuse the remote sensing data with crop models? The answer is yes. And this is exactly the meaning of data assimilation in a broad sense. Data assimilation techniques allow us to update the model states with external observations from other sources. This algorithm considers the error of both model and external observations to give a more correct state and therefore more correct model output. My work provided a data assimilation framework coupled with an agricultural model named Epson. The framework allowed external observations, for example, in-situ soil moisture or remotely sensed leaf information 